Hey Youtubers, this is RK again and I'm here to do a review on Game Worn Jerseys. So I'd like to give a shout out to my friends Patrick Cabajo, Jerry Kawaling, and Rudy Linganay for your beautiful Game Worn Jerseys. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not selling any of these or do I have any plans to sell or trade them because I believe that once a Game Worn Jersey is given to you, uh, you should keep it because uh, not everyone is uh, entitled to have one of them. So without further ado, ado let me start off with... Uh, Peya's uh, game worn jersey. This was actually worn by Sam De Guerra. Uh, he played for Mono Vampire recently against Alab. So before he played for Mono Vampire, he played in uh, the Taiwan Basketball League for Peya. So here's his jersey. So you can see the 2017 patch. Peya. Peya is an uh, electric company similar to Meralco in the PBA. So you can see there, sample number 14. Uh, I've made a highlight video of him. You can see it in the description box below to see that he's really wearing this jersey. Uh, just to give you an idea of how big it is, it's uh, 5XL. Uh, it covers actually uh, three-fourths of my body because Sam was uh, seven foot six. So uh, the material of this jersey is very nice because it's similar to the Reebok class classics back in the day. So uh, moving on to uh, Rudy Lingana's jerseys. So my favorite is of course the UE jersey which she wore in season 71. So it's this one. As you can see, uh, it says University of the East, Nike, uh, embroidered UE patch, and then the UE logo. So there's also a Nike um, check on the back. So during this time, this was 2008. So basically, uh, Nike was sponsoring Sanbeda, FEU, and UE. So as you can see, there's a black stitching on, on this part. This is a sign that during this time, um, the president of UE died. So as, as one community, they, uh, all the players wore this. Uh, during this year also, uh, Mac Barakael was shot. And you can see also that the FEU jerseys had that number 12. Uh, stitched on their jerseys so basically uh, there are some jerseys you will already know the timeline because of the uh, special patches that were attached to it so I really like this one it's lightweight I like the color red and white and actually the dark color as well so as we are talking about um, the Thailand Basketball League the Philippines also had their entry which was called Kabayan uh, Rudy actually played uh, in Kabayan and they had four variants of the jerseys. I had the second jersey. Actually, this is for the, the ver a very special jersey. This is sub sublimated. As you can see, it says also 2BSL 2017. Of course, uh, we all know Rudy's number is number 10. It says Rudy in the back. So I like this jersey because there was a game against PEA before he uh, played for PEA in the, the next year. He had three ankle breakers and uh, there's one ankle breaker where, where the uh, opponent fell. So I'll put the description box below, okay? So here's another Rudy's jersey. Actually, this was uh, in a league in Indonesia. So this was in Medan. So it's a one-week league. They had four variants of these jerseys. They had a camo. Uh, they had this one. Uh, I forgot the other two. But uh, basically, uh, this was for the Medan Hawks. So as you can see, it's similar to the, uh, you can say it's similar to Adamson Soaring Falcon type jersey. But this is a hawk, so yeah, it's sublimated, uh, has a number 10. You can see a lot of advertisings. So this is how Indonesia does it. So it's a very beautiful jersey because um, it's full, full bled sublimation. And yeah, I like it. And lastly, uh, after the stint on um, Indonesia, uh, Medan, uh, Rudy played a, lit a little while for the ABL. So this is his jersey, game worn jersey for the ABL. So it's the CSL Knights, which played for uh, the AB recent ABL. So there, you can see uh, he chose to wear number two for this one. So I really like the design concept of this one it's it's a bit animated then i like that that there's a bit of a uh, gold spray on it it gives it a unique look there's a flag indonesian flag there and of course the abl logo uh the outfitter of this jersey is hype armor which is a uh, basically an indonesian um company so there i really like this very much on a design perspective okay 
Now moving forward to uh, J.R. Kawaling's Game Warns. So J.R. Kawaling, as we all know, is the uh, the captain Tamara, King Tamara back in the days. He played for Gilas. He had a couple of stints in the, the ABL, uh, some stints in D-League. And of course, he's a veteran in the PBA. Played for uh, Star Hot Shots, uh, Kia, Blackwater, and, the, and other teams as well. So, um, JR played with alongside with Rudy and Samuel, who I shown the uh, PBA jersey earlier. And then after the uh, league, he went back to play for the D-League. So he played for Gamboa. So this is his game on jersey. He actually just played two games for this one. And uh, the first game he played were wearing this, uh, the team almost won, but uh, they got beaten off because of, of a buzzer beater. So you can see the D-League patch. This is full blood sublimation as well. You can see uh, the Kowaling surname at the back. And I like the design perspective on this one because it's similar to uh, San Mig Coffee's design. But it has a unique uh, look on it. Alright. And of course, uh, we all know that JR also played for Alab. So the first batch of Alab, he played for with Ray Parks, Jens Nutel, Kiefer Rabena. Uh, they made it all the way to the semifinals but got eliminated by Singapore. So this is uh, his practice jersey. It says Virtual Playground by Sports in Action. Uh, he chose to wear number six. So if you look at the Alab um, Instagram, you will see most of the uh, players wearing this side because uh, of the beautiful Alab um, design. You can see the flaming uh, ball there. So Alab Pilipina Sports in Action. And then afterwards, he also played for uh, the Kabayan League, wherein Rudy played as well. So uh, I was able to get his uh, warmer. So this is a beautiful warmer, uh, Pilipinas Basketball, Noipi. This is just uh, the 2018 TB uh, Kabayan TBSL. Okay, you can see that. So it's a beautiful design, sublimated as well. Uh, you can see his original number, which was number 15. There you go. It's number 15. And there's the Kawaling surname in the bottom. Okay, now moving on to uh, finally Patrick Kabahog's uh, jerseys. So Patrick Kabahog uh, played for Mono 2. He played with Mono 2 alongside Paul Zamar. So Paul Zamar eventually played for Mono Vampire. But uh, Patrick played for KL Dragons. So as you can see, this is his Mono Chu jer jersey. Mono Chu is a school in Thailand. So basically, if you all know the, the Mono Gym, wherein Mono Vampire plays, is actually owned by the same company. So I really like this design because it says uh, the uh, 2017 TBSL. Then you can see the Mono Chu, the school's logo. Mono Chu. It has that Boston Celtic green, Patrick in the back, then the uh, flag on top. It's a very beautiful jersey. Actually, I have a, a highlight video. This had the most views in my channel when he wore this for the finals game. Okay, now amongst all this jersey, this is the holy grail of them all. This is my favorite by far on a design perspective. Uh, this is the KL Dragons jerseys. Just to give a brief background, if you're not watching ABL, most of the Phil Amps that played in the PBA, uh, Stanley Pringle, uh, Matthew Wright, Jason uh, Moala Tautua, uh, you see Jason Brickman, Joshua Munson. Actually, Rudy, before he entered the PBA, played for um, Malaysia and Dragons, and as, as well as Patrick. So basically, a lot of great players wore this jersey, uh, but they changed the design but retained the big dragon in front. So right now, again, the holy grail of them all is the uh, Malaysian Westport Dragons. Uh, the outfitter right now for Malaysian sportswear is uh, Leaning. So you can see the le Leaning logo, the flag, the ABL logo. Uh, Kabahog's uh, surname at the back. So it's full blood sublimation. The number is a bit rubberized. Same with the surname. But it's very beautiful. It's very light. 
So you can see there's a beautiful, uh, it looks menacing. Uh, it's the combination of the white and red really complements the uh, jersey design. So I really like this very much. This has always been in my wish list for the last two years. So I'm very, very happy I got uh, this jersey. So there you go, guys. The, these are the game worn jerseys of my friends, and uh, I want I'd like to thank them again for uh, entrusting me with all these jerseys. Rest assured that um, you know I'll have it till the end of time, I guess. And also with regards to Rudy's uh, UA jersey, I plan to have this framed in the future uh, with his signature. So you might find if you visit my house, you might find it in my wall. So there you go. Uh, I hope you like this video and click uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye now.